Hey guys, it's Sam and Megan here from Unice Productions. We decided to jump on and make this video to tell you three reasons you should not bother getting a wedding videographer. Reason number one. The speeches. Your new wife's dad and your best man, who's probably your best friend, spent ages writing their speech. Um, I'm sure you spent ages writing your speech, so who'd ever want to watch that again? This girl is now all mine. So hey. it's all down here for you guys. Reason number two. You probably won't even drink, so don't worry about forgetting the amazing moments that happen at your reception. <laughs> Oops. I think those drinks were stronger than I realised. <laughs> Reason number three. You probably think having a photographer alone will be plenty and your friends will capture the rest of the day for you. I mean, who doesn't want to go through 1,500 blurry photos and videos that your friends sent you on WhatsApp? Having a professionally filmed and edited wedding movie sounds awful. Awful. <laughs> Sounds awful. <laughs> Reason number four. Say so clips of your flower girl not wanting to walk down the aisle, or that cheeky chappy picking his nose in a ceremony, obviously wouldn't be funny in 15 years time at their 21st birthday. That would be really funny. That's exactly the kind of thing I'd do. <laughs> so if after all of this, you still think a wedding videographer is the right thing for you. You should absolutely get one. We got married ourselves in August last year and it was the best choice we made. What was your favourite thing? Well, I watched ours a couple of days ago, and bearing in mind we got married, what, seven or eight months ago? Yeah. And it brought back all the feels. <laughs> and I love watching the speeches back. It's so funny. My best man, Ed, totally ripped into me. Megan's dad nailed his speech, and I had loads of fun writing mine. So make sure you click the subscribe button below and like this video if it helped you out. Follow us on Instagram, and we'll see you next time. Cheers.